Hello guys, how you doing? Hope you guys had a good weekend. I hope you really did. At least try to have a weekend. I had a good weekend. I I need to stop um, going out too much, but I had fun, guys. I wasn't going to do a political comment. I'm pretty tired. I was at Magic Kingdom today at the new park, Fantasyland. I made a little video about it. It wasn't open. The whole thing wasn't open, but they had some guests to check out a few things. Anyway, I wasn't going to do a political blog, but I get home. And of course, I see O'Reilly giving me some some things. I mean, I don't know. He made some comments that seem racist to some people. I'm going to let you decide. So here we go. Let's watch the show. I won't talk over my video today at all. Okay? Bye-bye. Will are attacking Mitt Romney for actually telling the truth. This is a bizarre situation, and we will get into it. I blame the president Senator. for making this a death trap. I blame the president for not having assets available to help these people for eight hours. Drama growing over the Libyan situation. The president still has not explained why his administration misled the public about the murderous terror attack. Is this another Watergate? Journalist Bob Woodward has some thoughts. Oh my God. Also tonight, Dennis Miller on General Petraeus and Adam Carolla on oh Victoria's Secret surrendering Carolla to PC Miller. forces. You idiots. Caution. Look at this guy. He made some racist comments, apparently racist comments. Let me know what you think. He's about to defend his comments. He's making it worse, guys. He really is making it worse. I mean, how can he say these comments and then try to... Uh, here we go. Thanks Let's see what he has to say. Side. Liberals and conservatives ganging up on Mitt Romney. That and you. That's the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. One of the bad things about America is that some of us feel the need to kick people when they're down. That's exactly what's happening to Mitt Romney right now. Millions of Americans are very disappointed that the governor did not wage a more aggressive campaign to unseat President Obama. Instead, Romney played it safe, failing to hammer the president on Libya in the third debate and pretty much sitting out the last eight days of the campaign. After Hurricane Sandy hit the East Coast, the governor simply disappeared from the news cycle. And apparently that was fine with him because he had many opportunities to state his case with some urgency in the last weekend, but passed. So President Obama's team, run by the brilliant David Axelrod, won the fourth quarter big. They pinpointed voters who might support them, got them out to vote on Election Day. Meantime, the Romney campaign made a series of local appearances saying the same thing over and over and over. Early on election night, when trends began to appear, I said this. It's a changing country. The demographics are changing. It's not a traditional America anymore. And there are 50% of the voting public who want stuff. They want things. And who is I honestly don't things? think that that's why people President voted for Obama, Obama like, because he they want things. It. And he ran on Trust it. me, I voted for Obama. <laughs> no, I don't want three things. And there's no denying the statistics in exit polling. However, some liberal Americans were outraged that I would actually say the truth. And I'll tell you why in a moment. It's not the truth. Eight That's days why. after the vote, Mitt Romney held a conference call with his donors and pretty much said what I said. Yeah, horrible things. But the president, uh, the president's campaign did was focus on certain members of his base coalition, give them extraordinary financial gifts from the government uh, and that's not why people vote if they keep thinking that to turn them out to vote, again, they're gonna true. lose again and here's the backup 20 percent of those who voted on election day make under thirty thousand dollars a year those folks are either poor or close to it many of those he hates poor people entitlements food stamps housing subsidies that kind of thing and of course they don't want those programs cut or reorganized among Americans making less than 30,000 bucks a year, 63%, 63% voted for Barack Obama. Just 35% voted for Mitt Romney. From that group, they need to get the it together. About seven million more There's more issues than, than money, Romney. guys. Mr. Obama won the popular vote by three and a half million. So it is a stone cold fact. That lower income Americans largely re-elected President Obama. Now the left is going to scream when you say that because they don't want to acknowledge the economics of the vote. So when I told you the truth on election night, I was immediately branded a racist and worse. This is what Americans should understand. Liberals want to see themselves as noble. They don't want to consider the fact 
that entitlements by votes. That goes against their sensibilities. So if you tell them the truth that entitlements do indeed buy votes, they attack you. But now Mitt Romney's also getting it from the right wing. Conservative George Will call Romney out on Sunday. Quit despising the American people, particularly because a lot of what they're despising them for are Republican policies. When, the, when Mitt Romney said, so many Americans aren't paying taxes, yeah, because the Republicans doubled the child tax credit for conservative reasons. Yes, because they expanded the earned income tax credit, as Ronald Reagan did, because they thought it was an effective anti-poverty program. What do you guys think about this? Mr. Will is pettifogging the issue. It doesn't matter where the entitlements come from. Millions of Americans want them. They want the government to provide. Newt Gingrich also slammed Romney. I just think it's nuts. I mean, I, I mean, I mean for, first of all, it's insulting. This would be like Walmart having a bad week and going, the customers have really been unruly. I mean, the job of a political leader in part is to understand the people. If we can't offer it's a right. future that is believable... The few times I agree with, people, with Nick Gingrich. Well, what does that mean, Mr. Speaker? Is the Republican Party going to Nick out Gingrich entitlement right. the Democrats? That's what not does why, that mean? That's not why they voted. Mitt Romney's failure is very clear. He could not convince the Your failure is very clear, Mr. O'Reilly. Period. He did not show enough outrage Invite me to over show. a $16 trillion debt or explain he'll tell you what's wrong. what that can lead to. A total economic collapse. Romney was timid. It wasn't Paul Revere spreading the word about danger. Ask yourself this question. What do you think those making less than $30,000 a year were voting for? What were they voting for? Only entitlements? Do you think they were voting for massive debt? Were they voting for continued chaos in the Middle East? Were they voting for more government regulations? That inhibit businesses He's defending himself, but it's not going to help him. I mean, were they voting for eight percent unemployment? I think he looks desperate. Look, he looks desperate because there are more workers than jobs. Were they voting for? He's going to cry. No, millions of lower income Americans voted for the candidate who they thought was going to directly help them financially. Not every Obama. It's not true. Did that, but many absolutely. Did. Many, probably. Now, going Forty percent. The party does have to change. It can't disparage poor people. It has the to ones that live in the safety net, but there's nothing you can do about those people, economy, you know. But he's wrong. Discipline and robust capital. And I like O'Reilly. Will lift far more people out of poverty. I like O'Reilly. Than government handouts will. You gotta sell that. He's making a lot of faces today, well, by the way. Didn't. Maybe Marco Rubio or Bobby Jindal or Nikki Haley. Maybe they can. Finally, Governor Romney also did not confront the far-left fanatics who demonized him. And let me give you a perfect example. The Washington Post editorialized last week that I, your humble correspondent, served up a bigoted commentary on election night. Quote, a couple of hours before President Obama was declared the victor, Bill O'Reilly offered his explanation for why Mitt Romney was about to lose. Because it's a changing country. It's not a traditional America anymore. In case anyone might be confused about the meaning of traditional, he elaborated, the white establishment is now the minority. In other words, the problem was too many voters of color. How vile. How vile. In other words, you pinheads have no right to lie about me by putting fabricated words in my mouth. That's not what I said. That's what he meant. You disgrace the journalism industry. You disgrace the journalism industry. You seek industry. to demonize anyone who disagrees. You demonize everybody. That's how you made money. That's how you made your millions. The white that was karma. No you guys know about karma? You guys know about karma? That That's some karma. Clear. I don't lament that. I'm not pining for a return to Calvin Coolidge. I just reported it. But for Fox crazy, News, I they report, box, guys. Inconsequential. The Post summed up their dishonest commentary saying, quote, it's encouraging that many Republicans are repudiating the contemptuous and contemptible O'Reilly Romney worldview. Unquote. Oh. Well, here's what's really contemptible. You guys Ooh, look are at that. See what I'm making those faces. Look at Stop. The as a diatribe Nobody's going to vote people for you, people like you. That's Stop. You know, we need a young Republican guy with a nice Harris mind, Harris with an open minded, you know? This guy. Dependent. On a giant federal nap 
which cannot possibly afford all the stuff it is giving out. That's the Have you seen him do it? I do it live. I will do it live. And that is exactly what I want to see him. Does. I want to see him go into a tantrum Once. again. Their worldview is destructive to America, and it will be confronted here. Guys, how do I go from Disney World to the this? By the way, John Ugh. Stewart hopped on this bandwagon, and I'll deal John with Stewart had a great point. Check him out if you get a Next chance. Next on the rundown, Juan and Mary Catherine react to the talking points, and later, Dennis Miller. All right, guys. Look at, guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. The factor is coming. Oh, right Dennis Miller looks miserable. Anyway, talk to you later, my people. Oh, anyway, hope you like it, and uh, no hating. Go find it. If you're gonna hate on my videos, go find something else. You gotta see. Look at this. She's crazy. Look, she's an ecstasy. She probably voted for Obama. I am happier with my brain. Definitely. All right, guys. Take care.